What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh and I'm back with a brand new video. So today I will not be filming myself, I'll just be talking over these images below because we are talking about the final two episodes of the Martez sisters arc in the final season of Star Wars The Clone Wars. We have two episodes, Dangerous, Dead and Oso oh together again. Now these are the two better episodes of this arc, which I'm going to refer to as the Martez sister arcs because they follow Trace and Rafa with Ahsoka. Rafa is better in this final episode and Trace is still annoying as ever. But altogether, I feel like this arc was just there just for the sake of her, just so in Ahsoka doesn't get shoved straight into Ma the Mandalorian um, siege. It just seems very rushed and it seems very slow at the same time. Like. Everything's so messy. Um, the fact that now Ahsoka just suddenly leaves the sister, just to, sisters just to go back and do something that's very Jedi-like and fight for Mandalore. They were angry at her, and in the next second, they're not angry at her because she's a Jedi, and they're like, "Well, now seeing how more Jedi are like you, we can be happy and stuff." And Ahsoka being afraid that she might become a Jedi still, the idea that she had to accept the fact that she will always have those um, ideologies and stuff but it's how she uses them and whatnot is the, is good message to have, but I feel like there are better ways to go about it. Seeing Darth Maul again was great, but I assume she would have already known about Maul on Mandalore, and then also the fact that the, we don't know what the Death Watch people were doing, what um, bo was doing on the Pike's planet is a little irritating because they were there and they mentioned something about their plan in Dangerous Death, but then they just leave the planet on to get in the episode together again just for no reason and she so easily convinces Ahsoka to join them in the fight against Maul and stuff and it's I'm just wondering as well hopefully they have four episodes to explore this further on where they explore why Obi-Wan didn't send anyone to help I assume the Jedi Council didn't let him but surely he would have fought for it and like you know gone against it their will still eventually well they do let people go as we see that Ahsoka gets the 501st or whatever it is and fights Maul. The characters of this episode, this arc, were just very unlikable. The places that it went, and it's more so how it got there, not the ideas that were explored, were poorly done. And it, especially in the final season, it doesn't feel like something which we really needed and really added to the overall story of Star Wars and the overall characterization of Ahsoka. Episode as well. Also, quickly, one last thing I want to point out is that. They get captured and then they break out then they get captured again then they break out and then they get captured again and it just happens too often and it's really rinse and repeat so the writing of these episodes have been pretty poor. So hopefully now when we go to the Siege of Mandalore everything will be much much better. Um, I'm holding out hope because so far while the Bad Batch episodes were entertaining I have seen them before and now this Ahsoka's Return arc was alright at so let me know what you thought about these two episodes itself with the arc as a whole. I think it's alright at best. Leave a comment down below. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, I'll see you guys.